And take a look right here because mm -hmm. you may recognize some of these book titles. Top County Schools is removing more literature from their libraries, bringing the total number of banned books now to 20. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bynfor is at district headquarters. Chelsea explains the reasoning behind this decision and why parents have mixed feelings. As Cobb County leaders continue reviewing books in their libraries, they're removing titles that they find sexually inappropriate for children. But some parents disagree with this decision, calling it a form of censorship. Why did he ban them? Is it because they're about minorities and LGBTQ plus characters? Cobb County parents sounding off about the district's decision to remove 13 more books from their school's library shelves. It's never been just about book bans or limiting reading choices. It has always been on the negative effects on students and educators when our district leaders want to ban concepts like diversity, inclusion and equity. Superintendent Chris Ragsdale says the decision to pull the books has nothing to do with literary merit, but rather to protect students from sexually explicit and graphic materials. Cobb schools previously banned seven books, now bringing the total to 20. We did not make this decision casually, but did so after reviewing the content in question. We are declining to provide access to materials with sexually explicit content in the same way as I've previously stated, we declined to provide access to R-rated movies. While some parents argue the measure is stifling and restrictive, others agree with the district's decision, criticizing families who want students to have access to the sexual materials. The books they're fighting for are kiddie porn. So I read the book Flamer by Mike Carrado to see why it was pulled from Cobb County School Libraries. In my opinion, the language and illustrations are correctly deemed inappropriate. Just as the articles and images from Playboy magazine would also be deemed inappropriate. And you can find that full list of 20 removed books up on AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Reporting from the Cobb County School District Headquarters, Chelsea Bynfor, Atlanta News First.